Hi guys, okay, so today is a special video. It's my birthday haul and I didn't do it before because there is a special reason why I didn't do it before and I'm just like so happy to do it because, um, well, you'll understand it later. So let me just start off with what my friends gave me. So one of my friends gave me this beautiful bracelet and it has one, two, three, like three colors. And it's really pretty. I'm not going to put it on because I have like big hands and it's like very kind of hard to put it on. But I can put it on and when I do it's just very, very pretty. So um, yeah, I like that very much. Then my other friend gave me, the, gave me these uh, lovely earrings and they are um, blue and kind of like ethnic and they're from Bijou Brigitte. So that's very nice. And then I got, um, oh yeah, uh, wait a minute, where is it? This, oh, and this. Um, I got this Avon palette, which is extremely nice. I've been wearing it. So um, it's light pink, maybe you can see it like Pink and then like a shimmery, goldy, beigey color blue and green so they're very pretty and um, they go on very easily and they blend uh, oops. then I got the lipstick which I'm wearing on my lips now it's the Avon This it's a new collection as you can see there's like some lace design or something on it it's very pretty this is the lipstick very nice I like it's almost like gel kind of gel like consistency. I really like the color. It really suits me. Um, and then what else did I get from Avon? Um, I got something else. I can't remember. Oh, um, um, yeah, I got this nail polish color. It's called Wicked and it's very nice, but um, it chips off really easily because I wore it the other day and it kind of chips off after like not even a day. And then they give me um, a shower gel and some soap and these like gloves to exfoliating gloves and that was really nice. So that's that. Then I bought myself a whole bunch of things because it's my birthday and I love myself. Then I bought my, myself some things and so let's start off with, well, the Prestige My Blackest Black Mascara. Excellent. I'm wearing it today. Look how pretty my lashes are. Really nice. They're kind of soft, and I really like it. I'm not wearing any um, eyeliner, so that's nice. Then I bought myself these two um, glitter nail polishes from um, uh, Colista, and I'm wearing it on this nail, both of them together. So I'm wearing a particulier, and just this nail I'm wearing. I wanted to try out the two together. This is more of a goldy kind of... Um, sparkly <laughs> nail polish and this is like silver. It's really pretty. It's very delicate, very refined, so I like that. Then you probably saw me using this. I got the um, S YSL Faux Sil in Prune and I really like this also. I like the color most of all. Then um, the Art Liner, Lancome's Art Liner. Really enjoy this. I must say though, um, the other day when I made a video, my eyes were all watery and red, and it wasn't due to my cold, but it was due to a product that I've been using. So it's either the um, art liner or the mascara, and I still haven't figured it out because today my eyes aren't as bad as the other day, and I didn't wear either, so I have to figure that out, and if it is one of those products, I'm really sad. Um, then I got um, YSL pencil, lip pencil, and let me just swatch it, so this is the color, hopefully you can see it, okay, and um, with it I got the YSL Rouge Velouté in um, number two, which is this. Okay, and I wore it the other day. I'll swatch it next to it. Amazing. Really love it. And then I got 
T Rose 148 Rouge Pure, and this is the color. Now swatch it on the other side. So uh, it's really pretty, both of them. So this is the Rouge Pure. Then in the middle there's a lip liner, and then at the bottom there's the other one. And so that's nice. Then I, I bought myself another um, Shiseido eye cream. And I'm wearing it today with some blue on top. And this is the color. And some of my viewers asked if this creases. This is not a primer, but it starts out as a cream and then settles in, becomes like a powdery kind of finish. And it says on the um, box that it doesn't crease. Well, guys, it does crease a little bit because it's not a primer. This is like Shell from MAC. It's just a bit more, it's like peachier. It's peachier than, MAC, uh, than Shell from MAC. And it's really pretty to just blend in the colors and stuff. I really adore these cream blushes. Like I said, I use them as primers, but they're not primers. They're creamy eyeshadows that say that they're creaseless, but a bit of, I mean, at the end of the day, they do crease a bit, but they're really nice. And last but not least, my... Uh, nicest present of all time is uh, thanks to my parents and it's in this little box here and it's a jeweler it's made by a jeweler here in the south of Italy and let me just show you because I'm just so excited so ta-da they are two rings look how gorgeous so the story is basically we had these stones. My dad had brought them back from Brazil many, many years ago. And so um, my parents thought it would be a nice idea to make rings for me. Well, the model is very easy. I got it from two different models. One is the Pomellato, which is an Italian brand. It's like my favorite, favorite rings and jewelry ever. And the other one is by William Wellstead, which is a jeweler, uh, a British jeweler, I believe. And he makes those fabulous rings that um, um, Lisa Eldridge wears all the time. Now, I didn't have her exact stone, but um, I said, let's combine that design with the pomelato design, which I really adore. I prefer actually pomelato than William Wells did. And this is what I came out with. Um, these are it. So, um, very, very nice. You see how high they are here? And this is satin gold, and this is not only satin, but it's, I don't know if you say this in English, it's like hammered gold. So this is the effect that it has. Of course, camera the camera doesn't do it justice, guys. And this is aquamarine. And then this is the satin one. Is um, Oh my gosh, I have a total blank of what the purple stone is. Well, that's what happens when you do videos. Anyways, <laughs> they are amazing. So what the difference is, is... Um, Pomelato, um, they are more squared off, their stones. And they don't have all this gold around. Well, some do and some don't. If you can go on the website, and I'll post the link in the information box below. And you can check out all of Pomelato's jewelry. And I'll also put the William Wellstead um, website. You can't see much. But anyway, this is a mixture of both. And I'm going to wear this one here on my index finger and this one here. So, I mean, I think it's just amazing. It's gorgeous. What you do here, especially with Pomelato, um, the name of these, um, of these rings are called... Uh, oh, gosh, I can't remember. Um, what are they called? Lucciole. Okay, I think they're called Lucciole. And they're more of a square, it's just a square, and many colors, the stones are many colors, and you wear them all together. These, what you can do, is that you can wear them together like this, and it makes just a wonderful, wonderful um, jewelry piece, like two rings like this, it's like, wow.
But for now, I would like to wear them just like Lisa Eldridge wears, and she just wears them like this. She wears them on her right hand, but on my right hand, I usually wear my pinky ring. So if I put them on these um, fingers, it doesn't really look good. So I'm going to wear them on this hand. And uh, the difference with the William Wellstead um, rings is that here, it he made it like a little cage. There's like like wires going around, gold wires, let's say, that go around, and then you can see through. But the, what the jeweler said that he couldn't do, because my stones were higher um, than uh, William Wellstead's ones, they were, like, lower. So that's why he could make the little cage lining. And, um, and But to me, I mean, it's fine. I showed him a picture of it, and then I also told him that I like the pomelato style. And this is what it came up with, and I think it's even better than pomelato and even nicer because they're just amazing. So thanks, Mom and Dad. Aren't, like, parents the best? My parents are the best. They, um, they really, really have such good taste, and this is the perfect time for me to have these rings because I can appreciate them. And so that's why I waited for so long because my birthday was on, the, on October the 24th, but they were ready only today because he really wanted to work um, a lot on them. So that's my birthday haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I am just so happy about these rings. I'm going to wear them every day, so you're probably going to see them on me while I do makeup tutorials. Another little thing I wanted to tell you guys, um, I want to start, I, I've been thinking about it, and I think I'm going to start doing a blog because um, I have many interests, and in a lot of them are, for example, making jewelry, or uh, for Christmas I'll have another um, um, necklace made, and I just, as you know, you've probably watched my life videos, and I used to design, I'm a textile designer, I used to work in fashion, I used to work in makeup in the, um, uh, the Prêt-à-Porter um, fashion shows in Milan, I just, I have to, like, I want to say a lot of things, and I want to, like, take pictures and show you, you know, maybe what I'm, um, what I like at that, in that moment. Anyways, you know how the blogs go. So, I think, I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start up my blog, and I'm going to start it up with the three, um, trends that I think are big this year, three or four, because I had told you already I wanted to do it, but then I never got the time to do it, and I just, I don't think that trends can be shown on a video like this. I can't hold up the pictures or something. So I think I'm going to do a vlog. And I know I'm going to do a vlog. And it's a lot of work, but I I love it. I think I'm going to go back. So anyways, uh, let me stop talking. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy about my rings. So anyways, um, thanks again. And see you in the next video. Bye, guys.